Well, hello, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. We're going to do a wonderful, fun dessert today. And my good looking grandson, Noah, is with me today. He's helping me. And what we're doing is an apple cobbler. And either you can do your apples the old fashioned way, or you can use the canned apples. Prepared apple pie filling, which we've used two of these today. I've already put that in my Dutch oven. And what we have here is kind of like a cake topping. And it's got a fourth of a cup of butter, flour, sugar, baking powder, milk, vanilla, and a half a cup of milk. We mix this up really well, Tiff, as you can see, Noah. You don't have to use a hand mixer. You just mix this up really well. He loves to cook, so that's why I'm having him help me today. And then we're just going to pour this on top of this. Spread it over here evenly. Oh yeah, oh, yeah this is going to be wonderful. Looks so good. Yes. What are we going to have on top of it tonight? Ice cream? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you got to have ice cream. Vanilla bean ice cream. He can't wait. There we go. So we'll take this out to our prepared area. And what we're gonna do today is we need to have less heat on the bottom and more on top. So it bakes the top of this just like a cake. Sound good? Yeah. All right. All right, we'll see you outside in a bit. Yeah. Hi, we're out here in our Dutch oven cooking area. I've got Noah, my grandson here, helping me. He's gonna put the coals on top. We have it set up a little bit higher because we want it to cook more on top. Right. We've got everybody out here helping today, even my son Justin. Because it. I'm just the voices in your head. There we go. That looks good. So we're going to let this bake for about 35, 40 minutes and we'll come check it. Just remember to subscribe, hit the like button. Please give us some feedback and leave a comment. Well, Noah and I finally got our wonderful apple cobbler done. I'm going to take it up, and this handsome young man's going to put his favorite vanilla bean ice cream on it. It browned really nice on top. Wow, doesn't that look wonderful? Wow, what do you think, Noah? It smells good, too. There you go. My oh, goodness. All right. Easy. He can't wait. He's been waiting for about, it took about 45 minutes. As we always say, the wind and the elements always plays a factor when you're cooking outside. Whoops. Of course, the ice cream got away from him. <laughs> there we go. Well, thank you. We hope everybody enjoyed this with us today. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and give us some feedback and let us know if there's anything else that you'd love to see from us. Goodbye, everybody. Thank all of our viewers and family and friends. We hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye for now.